In this video, I've got some Winchester Blindside 2 steel hex shot, and I'm gonna test it against some Boss Legacy Bismuth. Boss shot shells gave me some of the ammunition used in this video. A viewer sent me the blind side two shells, though Winchester has given me ammo in the past. Carlson's gave me the choke tubes, and Mossberg gave me the shotgun. This is George back with the new hunter's guide. Guys, make sure you check out the podcast. There's a lot of waterfowl hunting episodes there. But today we have a viewer requested test. In fact, a viewer actually sent me this ammo. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And if you guys ever want to see something in particular tested, just let me know down in the comments below. I always keep a running list and try to make viewer requests happen. But we have Winchester's brand new state-of-the-art Blind Side 2. Now, maybe you guys saw the original Blind Side. It is a hex-shaped pellet. It's not a circle, it's not spherical, it's a hexagon with rounded edges. And we're gonna test that today against some Boss Copper Plated Bismuth. Now these are both number two shot. That's what I was able to get them in. And the Winchester is going at 1400 feet per second, one and three eighths ounces of this strangely shaped stuff. The Boss is going at 1350 feet per second, one and a half ounces, both three inch shells. So we're gonna take these down to the range guys and we're gonna run them through my Mossberg 940 Pro Waterfowl with its 28 inch barrel. Now what kind of choke do you use for hex shot? I had no idea. So I actually reached out to Winchester. I said, what do you guys recommend for this stuff? I've got no clue on what to choke it with. I scoured the internet, searched deep, but I came up with nothing definitive or authoritative. And Winchester did respond, and here is what they said. And I was not ready for this. They said that the hex shot is actually not intended to be a long range shell. It's designed to perform best at short to medium range. It's They built it in order so that it would open up faster to give you a denser cloud, a bigger cloud rather, at regular range so you have more margin of error. So they actually recommended that I choke it with improved cylinder. Now I do not even own an improved cylinder choke tube. The closest that I have is modified. I don't know why, I just never saw the need to get one, never had to use one before. So we're gonna run this thing through a modified choke tube. Now because it was designed for short to mid range, to me it seems a little bit unfair to test it at 40 yards. And some of you just gasp like, but George, 40 yards is the standard. You've got to do it at 40 yards. Everything is done at 40 yards. If it's not 40 yards, it's meaningless. Well, guys, 40 yards is maximum range. It's not ideal range. Ideal range is more like 30 yards or less. So because this shell was designed for medium range, we're going to test it at medium range. Now, some of you just said, but George, the boss is designed for long range. Well, Actually, it's not, guys. It, it works great for long range because it's bismuth, but it's designed to be an all-around, all-range shell. So it should have no disadvantage at short to medium range. Now, I'm going to run the boss through the bismuth bone buster choke tube. I'm going to give both shells their best choke tube that I can. And yes, I know, I just defended 30 yards and how important it is, but I'm also going to shoot both of these at 40 yards as well because I want to know because where I hunt, we take a lot of long shots shots. It's just hard to get birds that close. So what I'm going to do is we're going to test these, do a 30 yard pattern test and a 30 yard ballistics gel test. And then we'll also do a 40 yard pattern test to see what happens at both ranges. All right, let's go ahead and head down to the range. And we are down at the range and we're going to start off with the blind side twos at 30 yards. And then we got another one at 40 yards. And we're just going to shoot them both at the same time. All right, we're gonna swap paper and then we'll hit it with the boss. Now it's time for the boss. And again, we'll shoot both of these at 30 and 40 yards. All right, we're gonna go see how we did and then onwards to the ballistics gel. I've got all four targets laid out here with the blind side at 30, the boss at 30, the blind side at 40, and the boss at 40. We're gonna go through them pretty quick, but you can rewind and I'm gonna count every single pellet in the end. So let's take a look. First, we have the blind side. 30 yards, super dense pattern. That's as dead as dead could be. 
Then we have the Boss. Also, super dense pattern there. I was maybe a little low. Then we have the blind side, this time at 40 yards. Not bad at all for number two shot. And then we have the boss at 40 yards. Very similar, excellent pattern. Which one's better? Ooh, I don't know. Only math is going to be able to tell us, so I'm going to draw a 30-inch circle over the densest part of each pattern, count every single pellet, and get you guys the data. But first, we need to go ahead and take care of this ballistics gel test. Now I've got the ballistics gel set up and we'll hit it with the blind side too. All right, I'm gonna swap chokes and then it's time for the boss. Got the bismuth choke in, now I'll hit it with the boss and of course the gel's at 30 yards. All right, we're gonna go take a look and see how I did, guys. But first, I ask you to help support the channel by hitting the thumbs up button. And if you like test videos like this and kicking the tires on assumptions, this is the channel for you. Go ahead and hit subscribe as well. All right, let's go see what happened. Now the moment of truth. Did these blindside hex shot tumble and create devastating damage? Well, let's take a look. So they're both from left to right. Looks like the Hex shot was about three, three and a half inches. And then the boss copper plated bismuth, eh, closer to five. So the boss definitely got more penetration in the gel, but we would expect that it is bismuth, it's higher density, but how much better did it do? Well, I'm gonna count every single pellet, get you guys the averages here with the rest of the data momentarily. And I just finished counting some 600 pellets across all these sheets of paper and ballistics gel so that you guys don't have to. If that won't make you click the thumbs up button or subscribe, I don't know what will. And guys, I was really surprised at the results of this test. This did not go the way I was expecting it to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers right here. So you can see that the Boss Bismuth came in at 147 pellets at 30 yards, 112 pellets at 40 yards. That's 98% pattern and a 75% pattern. And then we see that the Winchester blind side number twos came in with 155 pellets at 30 yards and then 134 pellets at 40 yards. Now that shouldn't be super surprising because the blind side has more pellets in the shell. So because it's steel and steel is less dense than bismuth, you get more pellets for the same number of ounces. And even though it has slightly fewer ounces of shot because of the density it has more shot so it came out on the paper the blind side was five percent ahead at 30 yards and 20 percent ahead at 40 yards and i didn't think that was going to happen guys i thought the blind side was going to open up a lot more early on i did not think it would get more pellets on paper downrange that is actually a bit impressive for me i know it did have more pellets in the shell but they are hexagons that don't make no sense. Nonetheless, it came out on top in both shots. Now, if you look at the ballistics gel, this I did expect. The boss came out 5.13 inches of penetration versus 3.95 inches of penetration. So the boss was ahead in the ballistics gel by 30%. So you've got actually better pattern more pellets on the paper from the blind side, but you have substantially more penetration from the boss in the ballistics gel. So what does that mean? How does this shake out? Now guys, I personally only use the boss number twos as a goose load. Reason being that kind of penetration is just not needed to take down ducks. The boss number fours will take down ducks at pretty much any range you can hit them. They hit really good. So for me, the boss, that's a goose load. Now the Winchester blind sides that's a little bit of a different story here you've got a lot of pellets in there this would make a really good duck load almost four inches of penetration that's gonna work really well for dropping ducks and that pattern is also gonna work really well at close to mid-range one more point I wanted to address according to Winchester's website this steel hex shot is designed for increased trauma in wound channels for faster kills I alluded to looking for that during the ballistics gel test but I was not able to find any evidence 
evidence of it. However, that's not entirely unexpected. Ballistics gel is a homogenous medium. If you were shooting ducks that have skin, muscles, and bones, you might find cause for tumbling and other damage that occurred. We just cannot assess whether or not that does or doesn't happen in this test. But if you're interested in this test, you might want to see me test some steel BB shot in a video I did right here, as well as 12 gauge versus 20 gauge waterfowl ammo right here. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and go get them in the woods.